Happy Tuesday, everyone. Have you ever had just one of those days where you, everything is going wrong? I woke up sick. If you watched yesterday's announcement video for the autism, you know this. Um, today, I'm going to use one of the palettes that, from this point, I love Delancey. Um, and they had a blue palette called Space Blue. This is what it looks like on the inside. If you watched the giveaway video, I probably told you to come watch this one when it goes up today. So, it's got a mixture of some tones you could use to start the color. And then it's got some beautiful blues. We're going to get out. First, we're going to... I'm sick. First, we're going to get the hand sanitizer. And then I have the wipes over there. I'm going to hand sanitize our arms and I'm going to swatch this for you. I'm getting the wipes out so that I could, um, it has this little thing that has the ingredients on it. I do not believe the ingredients are written on the back. Oh, they are. That's good too. Okay. And I got my little equate pink grapefruit wipes and we're going to swatch the first row. There is no color names to men to speak of. So the first one is a shimmery shade. And then there's two mattes. Get this off my skin. Also did a waxing video today. I'm trying to pre-record because I'm not sure how sick I am. <laughs> I just know that I am. And then there's like a dark blue. There's a glitter and then a dark blue. So that's the first row. That shade is kind of perfect for a transition shade. There's a third shade. Yeah. And the glitter, let me show you how these glitters swatch. Because I thought it was beautiful last night. Watch. Look. They're even, basically. I might even use them. I just wanted to do them all three where you could see that I am evenly swatching them. I don't know if I put enough pressure on the center one, but you know, using the makeup white to get that off, except for the glitter because it looks like it wants to stick around. Okay, now the second row. Looks like they're all metallic or shimmery type shades. I did swatch a little bit of this when it first came in. Ooh, I like that one. And this is the glitter shade. I'm tapping it for this so that I know I only dipped into it once and I still got some on my hand. But there's the second row. Look at this color right there. That's beautiful and so is that one. And I like that you don't have to just do blue looks with this. You got some neutrals at the top and then you got like that metallic neutral that I just um, swatched for you. Now we're doing the last row. It's got three mattes and a metallic. Okay, the, this one was first, second, third. I get this problem with more expensive palettes that have blue in it. Like that dark navy blue color. It's like almost like it, it just gets patchy and I don't know if it's my skin or if it's just that that shadow is hard to make. But I've never had a problem with the Lancy Beauty. I did buy this palette with my money. Yeah, it's almost like you're swatching a black, you know what I mean? On those two dark blue shades. Let me show you. Let me rinse this hand off. But those are some pretty colors. And I would almost say Use a primer on your eyes if you're using those dark colors. All right, let me grab the navy blue shade, and I will show you what I mean. See, it has a good swatch. And then this one is like a really dark navy blue. It's almost like swatching a black. You see what I mean? I wish I had a black in front of me. <laughs> But this is also what I mean by you might, if you have light skin, you might want to use a, 
primer so that it doesn't necessarily stain your skin because darker shadows can do that. It doesn't matter what brand it is and Eric wants his crackers open. Okay, so first we're gonna take that one shade, um, mm -hmm. the second shade in the palette, it's like a light color. And we're gonna put that on the eyes, like so. And I probably should have put a primer down, but I don't feel good and I forgot. Do you ever have those moments? I'm having one. And it looks like Oh, on this side is doing it too, and I haven't put any. Okay, it's like a um. I guess I put accidentally rubbed my brush when I was putting my foundation over my eyes. <laughs> there was like a crease of like a white color coming across. Okay, and now we're gonna take, like, where is my favorite crease brush? I would rather use that so that I know what I'm doing. There it is. And the shade switcher's right here. So we are gonna take first, we're gonna take the darker brownish color and try to pull it into here because we are doing a blue look but we're also trying to make sure that the blue look isn't too much so this is like a second transition that I'm only putting in the crease area and pulling up a little bit it looks like I want something darker for that those blue shades to um blend into. I knew I was going to get it. I knew it. <coughs> okay. We are going to take, I am having a hard time picking if I want the top one or the middle, the bottom row. They almost look similar. Let me see. They can't be similar. Okay. There's that one. Okay. No, they're not. Okay. If you look at them like that, they look similar to you. But see, this one's like got a lighter tone to it and like a greenish tone. And this one's more blue. I could see it. <laughs> so we are going to use the top one that's a little darker and a little more true blue and not so green. Oh, my nose itches. All right. I went to Walmart yesterday and got sick. We're going to start on the outer corner. And just kind of set it down and then pull it across. I like to blend them as I go. We're gonna grab an actual blending brush. And this Morphe one, it's the Morphe 519, M519, looks like that. And we're just going to blend it out. I don't want any harsh edge. When you blend the crease shade, you go up with it. 
into the transition. Still looks really harsh right here on camera, but I don't want to blend it into nothing. You know what? I'm wondering if it looks really harsh because when I close my eye, see, it doesn't look harsh like that. It looks a little harsher. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're going to grab this and we're going to tap it off. And we are going to start on the outer edge because that's where we want most of the color payoff to be. We don't want to have to mess with it too much on the inner corner. So we're going to start on the outer. I'm switching the brush. I start like this where it's flat. I don't know if you can see that. And then I turn it like this as I'm blending it in to get a more blended lay down of it. Because this eye, it either takes too much pigment or it don't take enough. So I'm always different, a little different with this side than I am with the other side. We're gonna start the blending process before we build up the color. Because like I said, this eye will even take, either take too much or not take enough. It's always good to know your eyes and your face and how it does or doesn't take to makeup. Like I notice also my nose sometimes when I'm putting foundation on, it gets really patchy right there. And looks like there's spots where I don't have foundation. So if I'm using a brush, I will stop using the brush around the nose. Well, I'll put it on there with the brush and then I will take a sponge and make sure to tap and make sure that it's all in there. I was gonna wash my brushes yesterday and then I remembered I'm using blue eyeshadow today so I would just have to rewash them. All right. This concealer sponge by e.l.f. And I'm just going to kind of fix these edges because I got an idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> now we're going to take, I think it was this one that I really liked. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so we're going to take that color and we're going to take it on a flat brush. Let's go ahead and use this Morphe synthetic fiber brush. Pick up the color. And that don't work. Okay. Let's grab a different one. I want a flat brush because I want to lay the color down. And I always use a brush the first time when I'm using a palette. Because until it shows me that it can't use the brush and I have to use my finger, I prefer the brush because I could get a nice, even lay down of the color. And I'm probably going to go in with a darker blue. Because with the blues, you never know what they're going to do. So I always like to start off with a light color when it comes to these. And then I will outline... the shadow lay down with a darker color. I actually like how that looks. That actually looks really pretty, but I want to take a little bit of this and fluff out that edge. If you look, this shadow lays down really nicely. Now we're gonna take, I wanna take a more precise brush. I think we're gonna use this. This is a moto brush, I've never used it before. We're gonna go in with a darker blue. The next, the third from the side on the bottom. 
It looks like this. Let me see what it does when I put it down. Okay. And we are just going to kind of build up in that crease around that shade. To define that lighter metallic a little. I'm just laying that color down. I like the precise brush because it gives me more control. And I always tap it off. It gives me more control of where I'm putting that color. And with colors like this, you need to have as much control as possible because it's dark and once if you make a mistake, it'll probably make you have to take the whole thing off if you can't fix it. I like how that crease is looking. See how on the outer corner, it's, um, shaping up a bit more. All right, now we're gonna take this blending brush. We're gonna go into that really light shade in the palette and we're just gonna kinda buff it around the edge right there. Let me grab the directions from the Lansley thing. Because this is such a deep color, I don't want it to go past a certain point. And I didn't grab my little eyeshadow shields. And it still went past the point I wanted it to. We will fix that in a minute. I didn't mess up too bad so I could take the concealer and this little sponge by e.l.f. Let's grab this. We're just barely fixing that. They're not gonna match automatically, which really, really is not what I wanted because I am gonna test out a um, pencil that helps you with the cat eye, but I wanted to actually see how that worked first. Let's grab a little bit of this that's left on it still. I don't want a whole lot, I just want this a little bit better and more defined around the eyes. I really do like how that looks. Let's grab, is it this one I like the best? Yeah. Let's grab this lightest glitter and we are gonna tap it across. The eye. I'm very scared of glitter. I had an allergic reaction to one one time. Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at that. This is why I picked Delancey. But you also have a... With the glitters, it's probably like the Tati palette. You're probably going to have a better lay down if you tap it with your finger to put it on there oh that is so stunning i did order the tati palette i will be doing a review and i ordered the blendiful i 
I like that. That is really pretty. Let's take a little bit of that one shade again, the lightest shade on a different clean blending. Well, the cleanest we could find blending brush. And just kind of. That is so pretty. I like that. So we're not putting eyeliner on, like I just said, but we will take a little bit of this blue. There's none left on that. So we're going to take and mix the light blue on the bottom with the light color on the top. And put it across the bottom. So I'm mixing. Now we're going to take this blending brush and we are just going to fluff along the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit more of this glitter. It just makes the eyes look so beautiful. All right. So we got that. Now we need an inner corner shade. And I'm going to guess that that lightest shade that's kind of metallic right here will work. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm just barely tapping it on there. That one didn't do as good as the other one. So and I want to be a little precise and pull it up a little because this eye look is so different. I want to add a beam of light through there. And then we're going to take that same shade and put it right there under the brow bone. All right. So that is the final look using the Delancey Beauty Delancey Beauty space blue pressed powder and glitter shadow palette and i personally like it um i won't have the cat liner on when i do the video for the giveaway that you saw yesterday because i don't want to mess this up so i can say hey this is what you could get with this palette um we will spray it with some setting spray real quick since we are using glitters and I choose not to have glitter fall in my eye. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you're excited about the giveaway. Start spreading some autism awareness and I will see y'all in the next video.